Evaluation, Assessment, and Testing, How Much is Learning Measurement Worth? by Shannon Anderson, EDU 534. What does the researcher set out to do? The researcher sets out to examine four types of assessments through national, regional, international, and hybrid areas, while focusing on the costs that each has accrued within 13 district contexts, especially in low-income countries. The findings of the researcher in this study highlight broad variation in the total cost of assessment and the cost per learner. Why does the researcher feel that it's relevant? The researcher believes that learning assessments entail costs that need to be evaluated and compared. The researcher feels that the evaluation of assessment costs is an issue that needs considerably greater attention in the field of international education. Types of assessment. National assessments evaluate all students in a national education system. Regional assessments provide an opportunity to measure student learning across a group of countries, typically defined by a geographic region or by a shared national language. International assessments are designed to measure learning in multiple countries. Hybrid assessments. The idea was to see whether LSEA methodologies could be reshaped into hybrid methods that are just big enough, faster at capturing, analyzing data, and cheaper in terms of personal and cost outlays. What research shows? Research shows that the average cost of an LSEA appear to be small relative to national education budgets, less than 1%, generally per national budget, and as low as 0.3%. However, such low percentages may not reflect the percentage of the available discretionary budget. Scientific studies strongly suggest that models of assessments will change in relation to testing advancements and increasing demand mean less overt cost in test preparation and terms of translation while reducing turnaround time. Government bodies can possess actionable data sooner and thus with less staff and overhead. Calculating the cost. Overt costs are those that are typically planned in for advance and that are included in the accounting mechanisms of the agency in charge of the LSEA. These would include staff cost of test management, such as test design and application and training, as well as travel supplies and equipment. Indirect costs, these costs are absorbed by the agencies themselves in implementing the program. Opportunity costs, these costs are relative to what different strategy may have taken place in lieu of the particular choice that is made. Low-income countries. In low-income countries, educational decision makers will find themselves with more choices than available resources. Not enough reliable data has been collected on assessment costs for the variety of assessments currently in use. The issue is what a ministry or funding agency will receive in return for its investments. With the growth of large-scale educational assessments throughout the world, there has been an increase in attention to the fiscal burden of assessments in low-income countries. These costs have often been borne by external funders such as bilateral or donor agencies resulting in the common perception that this burden of investments in knowledge is rather minimal when compared to the large amounts spent on education itself. How is this similar or different to what was presented in the course? The course didn't cover much of an overall cost of assessments, but it did discuss <clears throat> how some countries have different forms of assessments and evaluations that are different than the United States. Uh, some parts use oral examination for parts of their subject. It goes on to say that not every student takes every subject, but all are intentionally exposed to a broad curriculum. Good performance is judged against an external standard, not relative to other students in the school. If we were to follow the same type of testing as other countries, we have a chance at lowering our costs for assessments and evaluation. My thoughts and reflections. I feel that we should find different ways to assess students that are more friendly to different income countries. I can agree with the researcher that costs for assessments need to be evaluated and compared. I was surprised to learn that the cost of assessments was an issue, but I feel that changes in the future with change in relation to testing advancements and increasing demand. This will allow for less cost and more turnaround time so that we can help low-income countries as well as find out how students are doing at a faster pace, which will benefit students who are behind.